This is Nick with logosbynick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can use GIMP to create the appearance of falling snow on top of any image you'd like. And if you'd like to learn more about how GIMP works, be sure to check out the GIMP series, which is a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the major tools and features in GIMP, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. I'll put a link in the description of the video if you want to check that out. So to get started here, I'm going to use this example photo for this tutorial. If you'd like to follow along with what I'm doing, I'll put a link in the description to where you could download this photograph as well. Otherwise, you can use any photo you'd like. So the first thing I want to do is create a new layer on top of this photo. So I'm going to come over here where it says create a new layer and add to the image and click on that. I'm going to leave all of the defaults as they are and then click OK. And up here, I just want to make sure I have the default, which is black as the foreground and white as the background. If not, just go ahead and click that icon to to set that back to how it is. And what I want to do is fill this layer in with black. So I'll go to edit, fill with foreground color, and that's going to make the entire layer black. And what I want to do next is add some noise to the image. I'll show you what I mean here. If you go to filters and go to noise, you could choose HSV noise. And what I will do is I will bring the dulling all the way up to the right and I'll take the value and bring that all the way to the right as well and I'll go ahead and click OK. And what I will do next is I'll go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur and I'm going to give this a one point blur. So I'll hit one, enter and then OK. And then next I will go to colors, curves, no I'm sorry, levels. And I want to adjust these levels over here. You're going to notice there's three arrows on this uh, horizontal plane right here. There's an arrow on the left, one in the middle, and then one on the right. I want to take these and just adjust them. I'm going to bring this left one in a little bit, and then I'm going to take this right one and bring this in a lot more. And you're going to notice the image changing as you do this. And then I want to take this middle one and bring this over to the right a little bit. And if you notice, it's starting to look like falling snow. It's starting to give the effect that we're going for here. And I'm just going to adjust this until I get, I get the appearance that I'm looking for. That right there looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and click OK. And then what I want to do next is where it says mode, I want to change the layer mode to screen. And if you notice, there's now the appearance of falling snow on top of uh, the image here. It looks a little strong, so what you could do is if you want, you could take the opacity of that and bring that down a little bit so it looks a little more natural. And another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create another layer on top of that with some larger snowflakes just to give it a more layered appearance where it looks like the larger snowflakes are up front and uh, the smaller ones are more clustered and, and, and further away in the image. So I'm going to create another layer and pretty much repeat this process again with a few minor changes. I'll create a new layer. I'll fill it, fill, the, uh, fill with foreground color to make that layer black. Filters, noise, and I will choose HSV noise again. Only this time I'm going to bring the dulling all the way to the left. And then I'll bring the value all the way to the right again. Go ahead and click OK. Then we'll go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And this time we're going to use a three-point Gaussian blur. And I'll click OK. And then once again, we'll go back to the levels. We'll go to Colors, Levels, and we want to adjust these until it looks like snowflakes. I'm going to bring that in a little bit. You may have to play around with this a little bit. It may take a while to get it looking the way, to get it looking right. Let me move that out of the way so I can see it better. Okay, I'll leave that as it is and then I'll click OK. And then once again, we're going to do the same thing here. Set the layer mode to screen. And again, bring down the opacity of that layer a little bit. And there you go. That's how you can go about adding falling snow over any image using GIMP. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.